what's going on y'all um i want to do these quick videos um these apps sometimes will try to make you be boo boo the fool okay don't be boo boo the fool all right and what i mean by that is i feel like they will sometimes put orders in the queue and send alerts to drivers that are absolutely ridiculous just seeing if a dummy will actually take it last night i was the dummy i was almost the dummy last night okay I was, uh, I saw a freight order, and if you saw my last video, I was like, hey, I made 185 today, make it 200, more than 200 would make me feel better, so I was going to go out that night and do like a little quick nighttime hustle, right? So, I saw this order with freight, it was paying $37, and I said, okay, I'll, uh, I'll run and do this real quick, right? And I said, all right, I'll, I'll go and do this order real quick, right? So I'm reading through the order, and it's uh, picking up in my city, and it's dropping off in my city as well. And I'm reading through it, and I see a couple items on there that it's like, this is 40 pounds, this is this is 50 pounds. But I'm like, you know what, whatever, like, I can go and do this real quick, right? So I go to Lowe's, and first of all, I get to Lowe's for the pickup. And um, Lowe's doesn't have anything together whatsoever, okay? In fact, I was at Lowe's for probably real time about 20 minutes picking up this order. 25 minutes, actually, before anybody in at the, at the, uh, at the store could actually locate the order. And um, they needed to bring it to me on a forklift. So they didn't have anybody that was forklift certified. They couldn't find anybody that knew how to drive it. So, I mean, it was just a lot going on. So immediately, I'm like, I played myself. This is one of those situations where I'm losing money, trying to go and get some money, right? So they finally uh, locate the order. The first part of the order is like 24... Uh, eight foot poles right some type of tubing and this is like maybe like you know this this thick it's 24 of them those fit in the van absolutely fine now that right there would have been enough to where i feel like that order would have been paying fairly because it was only paying remember 37 dollars and 66 cents the guy says, all right, let me hop on this forklift and bring the rest of the order. He comes back with a pallet full of stuff. I'm going to put it on the screen. Okay. If these pictures do not do it justice, the pallet was about six feet tall. Okay. And probably about four or five feet wide. And the man said the pallet weighed about 1,500 pounds. I immediately canceled the order, okay? Now, if I would have broken apart all of the items, I probably could have made it fit in my van. But what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to be boo-boo the fool and allow you to... Just take advantage of, of, of me trying to hustle. I'm not delivering 1,500 pounds worth of goods for $37, right? And the way that they had this order listed, it was like a little deceptive. Like, um, if it would have been some center blocks or some stones for somebody's uh, garden or a bunch of bags of mulch, I wouldn't have minded that. Like, you know, it would have been a little harder than what I wanted to work at that time of the evening but i just would have did it but you're not about to put a pallet of material or have me break down a pallet of material um for 37 dollars and 66 cents i i won't do it right so i cancel the order and uh i unload the stuff off of my van <laughs> and uh and what's crazy is when you cancel a freight order 
you immediately get another notification that like this job is now available. I saw before I left the parking lot, somebody else had accepted the gig, man. And what's sad is how some of these apps will prey on your thirstiness. I'm going to give you an example. If that same gig was posted by GoShare, right? So this, this was a freight order. If that same map would have been on GoShare, GoShare would have said the requested vehicle probably would have been a box truck and GoShare probably would have been paying about $185 for that order. I'm not just pulling numbers out of my head. It's because like I've, I've seen them. I see stuff like that on a daily basis, right? But with freight, they want you to take it for $37. Now, Here's another thing you have to keep in mind. When you're taking an order like that, most of the times you will have help at the pickup. You usually will not have help at the delivery spot. So when you are accepting the order, it's important that you understand that. That, you know, if there are 1,500 pounds or 1,000 pounds or 500 pounds worth of cargo, um, on your in your vehicle when you get to that location you have to be prepared to unload that stuff yourself right a lot of times you will be delivering to somebody's residence okay and most of the time you're not going to be lucky and there's going to be like a strong person that's there to assist you it's going to be mama or papa or nobody's going to be home and in the case where nobody's home you know, what are you going to do? So don't, don't be boo-boo the fool, man. Like don't, don't, don't be so thirsty. You know, when you're out here hustling, trying to make your money that you get yourself taken advantage of, because I'm going to tell you what, if you get out here and you hurt your back or you drop something on your foot or, or whatever, that app does not care about you, okay? They're just going to send that alert to somebody else and somebody else will take it, okay? So you have to make sure that, that you protect yourself. So in conclusion, freight, <laughs> freight, you guys, um, you guys are out of pocket on a, on a lot of this pricing. Um, it's crazy that it's like, if you pick up four tires for a tire shop on the freight app, Freight will pay you about half the money as GoShare will pay you to do like a very similar job. It's just it's just it's just the facts, man. So like I said, man, you guys protect yourself out there. I, I don't whore yourself out for some money, okay? I, I I wanted to word it a little bit better, but don't but don't do it. You know, don't don't be the dummy out here taking these crazy orders. So last night, I wasted about 40 miles in gas, okay, driving there and coming back home. But now I will not be out there doing that for that amount of money, all right? So, you know, if you guys enjoy the content, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. And then uh, in the comment section, let me know what type of videos you guys want to see, all right? Appreciate y'all.